everyone so I am here now with part two of my Japan haul and this is going to be clothing and accessories I'm gonna start off with what I'm wearing I'm wearing this check shirt and this was actually thrifted my hubby and I went to Nara one day and we were surprised by the number of thrift stores there you guys may know that I do love thrifting so I was extremely excited unfortunately we were a little rushed for time so I only picked up two pieces the first piece is this little check shirt I'm wearing now it's like a three quarter length sleeve and I just really love the pattern it also happens to be Burberry so it's really nice quality I have to press it I actually just threw it on for this video I also picked up from the same thrift store this cardigan this is just a really nice like fuzzy sweater it's by the brand Feliciano and this is actually in a medium but it's just really lovely and oversized on me the only other thing I picked up in Japan that I'm wearing now is this little ring it's got like glasses on the front and I just love it I thought it was really quirky and really cute next up my hubby and I both purchased a ton of stuff from Uniqlo and I call it Uniqlo but I know a lot of people pronounce it Uniqlo I don't know the right pronunciation but I used to work with someone who did some modeling for them and he always pronounced it Uniqlo so the first item I got from there is this sweater and this is a cashmere sweater it's a beautiful like indigo blue but it looks almost purple it's very bright and vibrant in real life I would say the camera is doing a really good job of picking up the true color it's just got like a round neck at the top very plain your basic sweater not too tight or anything like that but I just love it because it's really Really soft and it keeps me very very warm I also picked up from the menswear department at Uniqlo this grandpa sweater and this is a men's size medium so cozy and the color I feel goes with so many things this type of color like this taupe color is right up my alley the only thing I wish about it was that it was a tiny bit longer but otherwise the sweater is like perfect for me in the same color family I picked up this little top this is from Uniqlo's heat tech line and it's basically the um, clothing that's folded up and in um, like cellophane bags and hung up on the walls so I really liked this I chose the one with the wider neck and it's just like a basic um, three-quarter length sleeve top it's super super soft but it is quite warm as well so this is a great layering piece and this was very inexpensive all of their cellophane stuff is very 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 inexpensive I think this was around eight dollars I picked up three skirts all three of these are are the same but in different colors and I just really like the fit of them they're basically like a pencil skirt but they're all cotton and the ones I picked up are all stripes so this one is like an olive and navy stripe and I didn't think it would work but when I tried it on it actually looked really chic this skirt was around $20 so I thought it was a pretty good price and I can wear it at work and I can wear it out and if I wear it with tights I could also stretch it into the winter time so I thought this was a good buy I bought the same skirt in navy and black and again the same skirt in gray and black so I have three of these next up I bought a couple of pairs of boyfriend jeans I find it really difficult to find boyfriend jeans that fit me because of the shape of my my bottom so I was really happy when I tried these jeans on and they were so comfortable and they fit me perfectly they weren't too tight they weren't too loose so the first pair is my favorite pair out of the two it's just like this medium wash and I do like to cuff these I think they look really really good and really effortless and then the other pair I got is a darker wash and I do like these as well I'm just more partial to a boyfriend jean in a medium wash. Also from Uniqlo's Heat Tech line, I picked up two pairs of lounge pants. I love this style of lounge pant. It's probably my favorite. It's basically an elastic waistband and it's like a harem pant style. So I bought a pair in like this um, kind of like rock type gray and then I also picked up a pair in black. I picked up three pairs of tights they're all in black and I've already gotten so much use out of these I normally don't like to wear tights because I find them very constricting and I also find a lot of tights have a bit of shine in them I really don't like that shiny look on my legs because I just feel it accentuates my legs too much and makes them look a little bit too big so I love these because they are thin but they are completely completely matte I picked up this down jacket or this down shell and I am finding this really really good for layering 
especially because I want to stretch out my nicer coats into like the beginning of winter so I find I can wear this as a layering piece and wear like my nicer coats out rather than switching to like my parka or my Canada goose jacket so while this definitely isn't the most fashionable piece I'm finding it very very functional so this is just a really really light down jacket and it rolls up into a ball and you can fit it in a little bag that comes with it the last thing I picked up from Uniqlo is this jacket here this is a camel colored coat and I found this in the kids wear section I just bought the biggest kids wear size and it fit me perfectly it is such a nice jacket I really like it it's nice in terms of the style however the make or the build quality isn't that good this was only $30 I think it was on sale from 50 so not too bad I find this has a really boyish fit to it it's almost like an oversized blazer type look but in a thin jacket form. Another one of our favorite stores was Tokyo Hands, which is where I got this ring. I also got a little fur collar and it just looks like this. I love this thing. It is so versatile. You can wear it open, but there's also a little clip on the underside so you can clip it in place and it won't get like blown around in the wind. You can use it to dress up a very basic coat. Another item I am absolutely loving is this scarf. I saw this scarf on Wendy's lookbook and I just popped into a Zara in Japan and I happened to find tons of them. I saw a lot of plaid scarves when I was in Japan on other people, but I couldn't seem to find them in store or at least I couldn't find one that I was really really drawn to but this one was amazing as soon as I tried it on I knew I would wear it a ton and I've already worn it a whole bunch I like it draped around the front like a big V so it covers like my entire front I also like it um, tied in the back the way a lot of Japanese wear their scarves they just like to loop them around their neck and tie them in the back and I also like wearing this as a shawl. The last of my winter accessories that I picked up in Japan is this little toque and they wear a lot of these there. I found a lot of girls looked really cute with their toque and their pom-pom at the top so I wanted to pick one up as well. I bought this when we were leaving the Fuji Q amusement park because it was so cold that I needed a hat. Of course when you're in Japan you have to buy some like Japanese themed socks. I got these ones here. They have a bowl of ramen on them and they're just really colorful and cute. They're just little ankle socks and I just thought they were adorable. One of the things I loved about the Japanese hotels is when they gave you the Japanese robe to wear or the yukata and I looked a lot of places for the yukata but it was out of season so I didn't find them in a lot of places and where I did find them they were very expensive. So on our last day when we were in Harajuku we actually went to the Oriental Bazaar and it's basically like the souvenir shop. I was really impressed by the shop. There were a lot of things in it that I really liked but I was drawn to the yukata so I tried to stay kind of on my goal and I picked up two of them it's just like this navy blue material I think this one is cotton and there are these white butterflies kind of interspersed on it and then the other one I bought is this beautiful purple and it's got like pink white and gold flowers on it I just love this design so much I think it's gorgeous both of these yukata do come with matching belts but I wanted to pick up another belt because this is the type of belt that they provided us with in Koyasan, I believe. I liked how it wasn't matchy matchy and so I picked this up to wear with actually both of the yukata. Sometimes the belts don't really like match and I kind of like that. It's got like a little bit of an eclectic look that I really like. So that is basically it for the clothing items. I am going to show you the bags that I picked up. I didn't go crazy. I didn't buy any like super high-end bags. I just picked up like a few kind of like fun cheeky bags. So the first one is just this travel bag and I found this was really good because it folds up really nice into this neat little packet and then when you open it up it's like this gray bag, decent size bag, it's like a duffel style and it does hold a lot and then the pocket is right here and as you can see I can put my arm through it. Now this bag hooks on to the handles of your luggage so I just thought that was a great idea because sometimes I put my bag on there but it still falls all over the place because it's not held in place and this one does a really great job at staying in place because of this feature and then there's this pocket at the back that you can use to put your passports or anything that you need 
to access quickly so I really really find this bag very functional and I love it the other good thing about this bag is because it folds up so nicely into this nice little packet I can actually pack it on my next trips in case I need an extra bag because I've bought more than I anticipated. They have this thing in Japan called ebooks and it's basically a magazine or book that comes with a present. So I bought three ebooks and my favorite out of the three was this helmet lang bag that I got with a fashion magazine. This is just a reusable cloth bag but I think the quality is really really nice for essentially what is a little freebie. The magazine did cost around eight or nine dollars I believe but I mean that's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. So the reusable bag just looks like this. The material is actually a really, really nice thick fabric. Quality is a lot better than a lot of the reusable bags I've seen or that I've had in my collection. So this is what it looks like. And then the other side of the bag is just black. It doesn't have anything on it. So if you don't want to show the logo, you can just turn it around and wear it on the other side. And it's just like a plain black fabric bag. I also got one with a little La Sport Sac uh, document holder, but I can't seem to find that anywhere. I have a feeling it might be with my luggage down in my locker. The third item I picked up with my ebooks is a backpack, and I've been wanting to try the style of a backpack. I just love the way they look on other people, but I'm not sure I can pull off the style, so I figured this was a good way to try out the style without investing a lot of money. So this ebook was, I think, around maybe $20. So this was on the more expensive side, but the backpack I got out of it is so cute. It is a great size. It's also more um, high quality than I thought it would be. And it has all these little cats on it. And my hubby was actually impressed as well because he thought it would be really flimsy and cheap. And it's actually got a substantial weight to it. So this backpack does have like little cat ears, which I think is adorable. And it's just a standard backpack that zips around the outside and then has like a zip pocket in the front. The last item I'm going to show you in this haul is a little something I picked up from Issey Miyake and this is their Bao Bao collection. If you haven't heard of this collection before, it's basically a really cool geometric design that Issey Miyake uses to construct his bags. I first saw this bag when my aunt came to visit from Hong Kong. She had one of the Bao Bao bags and my sisters and I were like, ooh, can we touch it? It looks so interesting. As you guys may know, I love bags and so I was really curious about it and she told us that she got it in Japan. So when I was there, I checked out the bags. They are quite pricey and I found that the tote style didn't really suit me very well, but I love the item I picked up. It's just a little clutch and let me take it out and show you. Here is the little clutch. It's just so interesting. I love the design of it. I got the one in black, white, and taupe, but they also had like a blue colorway and also like a red, orange colorway. I just found this suited my style the most and I love it. I can't stop looking at it in the viewfinder, so I apologize about that, but it moves really nicely. It's very flexible, and the quality is great. These are like little plastic triangles, so it's really, really interesting. And then the clutch just opens up like this with a zipper at the top, and there's a little um, zipper pull that's uh, metal, and it says Bao Bao on it. So I really, really love this clutch. It's probably my favorite thing that I picked up when we were in Japan. So that is it for today's haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to sign off now so this video doesn't get too long, but until I see you next time, please take care and bye for now.